Um, this is an election year. This is a critical year in the Philippines. What are the biggest risks when you're going to be changing leadership? Well, first, uh, it's important to point out that the Philippines is the only U.S.-style uh, democracy in uh, Asia. The rest are in Latin America, and it tends to be noisy. But I think it's important to note that the important thing is the credibility of the election and the mandate of the winner. Uh, the Philippines has had uh, many successful uh, elections in the past, and I'm confident uh, this will also be uh, another uh, successful election. What should, what should be the financial, financial priorities, priorities of the next president, though? Well, uh, they will have to continue uh, along the path of uh, President Aquino's program. Uh, fiscal uh, health, um, macroeconomic stability, and more importantly, increase investments in infrastructure, uh, in strengthening the agricultural uh, sector, uh, continuing to open up the economy, make sure that uh, we continue to improve our connections to the global supply chains as well as the tourism flows. Do you see, Do you see room to raise revenue Without raising taxes? Uh, yes, uh, I think uh, we need to continue to use uh, and implement uh, uh, technology uh, to make sure that uh, we improve the efficiency of tax uh, collection. Do you expect, I mean, there's, globally there's been tremendous amounts of volatility in financial markets and in equity markets. Do you see in the Philippines more volatility in the run-up to the election? Well, I think the volatility will really be uh, because of what's happening outside uh, the Philippines. Because if you look at the Philippine uh, fundamentals, it's never been better. Um, the fiscal situation is uh, well managed. Uh, macro, as I said, uh, has been uh, a, s a source of stability uh, for the past uh, 10 years. Our external uh, position has been strong. This is the 13th straight year of current account uh, surplus. Um, we are a net creditor uh, uh, country. And the growth that we've had the past uh, five and a half years, averaging 6.2%, is the highest we've had in over uh, 40 years. Now, so um, I think uh, the next president uh, has a very good uh, momentum uh, that will help him uh, move to the next level of growth. Now, are you willing to go into the next administration? Well, government service is uh, really and uh, obviously you run as hard as you can while you're holding the baton and make sure that uh, in the transition you don't drop the baton and uh, i'll definitely work closely with whoever is uh, taking my place uh, to make sure that the transition is smooth would you, would you welcome a role though in the new government whatever it may be every filipino has a role uh, be it in the <laughs> public or private uh, space so you're not, you're not retiring Oh, I have, uh, I have two young children, so I have to uh, <laughs> work hard. <laughs> Congratulations also on selling, what, the $2 billion bond at a record low yield. Are you done for now, or do you see room for more bond sales? Well, uh, we're always on the lookout for liability management uh, opportunities. But in terms of new money, uh, that's our program uh, uh, for the year. We've been uh, limiting uh, foreign uh, currency uh, borrowings to about 15% of our total uh, borrowings as part of our program uh, to reduce uh, the mix of our uh, borrowings. Now it's not down to about a third uh, foreign exchange compared to uh, before when it was close to uh, 50 percent. And this also reduces the vulnerability of the country to uh, external shocks. Have you considered a samurai or a panda bond? We've done a samurai in the past, before this administration, uh, but uh, we were looking at it during the first half of the administration, but somehow we weren't sure which direction the yen would go. No, nobody uh, knows right now. <laughs> uh, in the past, when we did, we were burned yeah. when the, the yen uh, uh, appreciated, no? but now uh, I believe it's too weak. No? So um, uh, maybe the next administration. In terms of the panda, I think uh, we're still trying to understand and learn uh, how to uh, tap that uh, market, but definitely in the future, that's something that should be considered. Panda bond? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. or you were talking panda bond as opposed to a samurai. Both samurai and panda, because uh, I believe that uh, uh, our borrowing mix should reflect our trade flows. Yeah. yeah. Quick, quickly on the election again, how, how are you going to make sure that investors don't get lost in the noise of the election? And you want to continue to keep on painting the picture that you had of strength in 2015 when the world was in turmoil. Well, that's why I'm here in Japan. I'm making sure that uh, investors have direct access to me and they hear directly from me my views on the election. And they should understand the history of the uh, Philippines, that we've had successful uh, changes in uh, administration, and our uh, type of election is a very noisy one, similar yeah, to the yeah, US.